Okay, hi guys, welcome back to this new lecture. Today we'll talk about how to create new pools so into our self cluster. Okay, so uh, the first way is that we have to create pool in the Prosper cluster. We have uh, as a backing story self cluster. We can go into this. Uh, yeah, we can go on the uh, an hypervisor level. Okay, from there we go to self. Yeah, and from there we go to pool. Okay. So here we can create a new pool. We can create pool like a pool VMs. Okay. So pool VMs pool. Okay. And uh, from there I can uh, specify the type of, of replica. Okay. And uh, I can mention uh, which replicated rule I would I would like to have uh, or I would like to assign to this uh, uh, pool. Okay. Simply. Okay. Or if you want to create another replicated pool, okay, or another rule, it's possible to you to do that. And uh, to, to choose that, let me just, uh, I have to go to show mode, yeah, and from there I will create a new replicated pool. Okay. But before that, I can, I can, I can uh, list all the different, different device class that I have in my cluster, okay. And right now I have, uh, let me show you, I have two device class, uh, one, sorry, one device class, which is of the HDD, okay? The, the Meritanica device uh, or Thrive, okay? So I have only one type of device class. In your cluster, if you have two type of device class, you can have SSD or HDD, it's up to you, okay? So me, from my side, I have only one, okay? and. Uh, I have no other choice. I have. I would like now to create another replicate rule. A rule who will save data by default on both the on both this device class. Okay. Let me uh, copy and paste all this new uh, rule. Yeah. From there, I will create a new rule. Okay. By default, uh, this rule, new rule is called a replicated rule HDD. Okay. And uh, the crash map, you use the, the default crash map, and uh, the failure domain will be at first level, and the, device, the target device class will be HDD. So that means that uh, all pools that you use of this replicated rule will be able to store data by default on HDD device. Okay? Even, even if after I, I had it, uh, I have added, uh, I had in features a new drives, SSD drive by default, that will be always stored in uh, in the HDD type device, okay? The uh, only way that I have to, to, to change this way is to edit the crash map, but this is another story, we can discuss that and, uh, and later, okay? So let's create this uh, rule, yeah, and the rule has been created, and now I can create my, my new my new pool, okay. So now I have two choices. I can create uh, this uh, this new pool from the command line level, okay. I can create a new pool name or HDD with a command line, okay. Or I can I can go back on the uh, interface, okay, on the web interface. How to do that? Okay. So let's create it right now on, from the command line interface. And uh, we call it PVE or self pool, create a new pool, the application because we want to store data type of the type of data that we, we intend to install uh, to insert in this pool is the RBD. Okay, the crash pool will be this one that has been created before, and uh, the bin size will be two, and uh, the, the default the size of uh, the number of replica will be three. Okay, so we intend, we intend to store. Three copy of the same data inside our self cluster. Wait, and remember this one: failure domain is at first level. We will come back to this point. So keep this point in your mind. So now the pool has been created. Now, as you can see, now we are creating our new pool in the in our uh, cluster. Okay. You can do it, you can create another pool if you want from the web interface. You can call, call this pool VMs, for instance, and I can choose this second, this new uh, replicated uh, pool. Okay, simple. It's up to us. It's very easy, and uh, yeah, 
let's go ahead and um, for replacement uh, I have chosen by I choose 128 uh, replacement okay a PG for visa for about of the PG calculation and so it's another story I want to take my time reserve uh, on this point but let, let's go ahead okay so now our pool has been created uh, successfully great and now we can we can move on to the next step of our uh, video or our lecture which is uh, creating new feature matching up which will be uh, located inside one on uh, those pool okay so thank you very much and see you next lecture